Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Keith and today we're making one of my childhood favorite lunches and that is green slime. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, green slime, that sounds disgusting. And it certainly looks disgusting, but I can tell you that this asparagus paste that we're going to put on toast is going to turn heads. You might not like it, but this might become one of your new favorite meals. In just a minute, we're going to tell you all the ingredients you're going to need to make this delicious snack. And we'll have one of our first corporate sponsors sponsoring our new, ep new part of the show called What's in the Pot. We'll be back in a minute with Cooking with Keith. Welcome back to Cooking with Keith. This segment of the show is called, What's in the Pot? What's in the Pot is sponsored today by Paul Schultz of Raymond James Financial. Call 1-800-962-9531 and let Paul Schultz put your money to work for you. Well, the ingredients we're going to be using today are pretty simple. So I'm gonna go through them with you. The primary ingredient, is asparagus in a can. Now, fresh asparagus is delicious, but asparagus in a can is how we make green slime paste. Second ingredient, butter. You can use salted, unsalted, margarine if you wish, but you're gonna need some of that. We have flour, and we have milk. I prefer whole milk, but if you want to use 2%, or skim, that's your prerogative. We're also going to use this wicked good salt to season it up a little bit. We'll be using two different types of bread as we'll be toasting some Italian bread here and we'll have some pita bread. You can use whichever you choose. In just a minute, we'll be back as I begin to mix together these ingredients so we can have our delicious lunch here on Cooking with Keith. Hi, this is Paul Schultz with Raymond James & Associates. We're proud to sponsor and partner with Cooking with Keith. Our number is 313-240-5099. Give us a call and we'll help you with any financial questions that you might have. Thanks again, Keith. Good work. Welcome back to Cooking with Keith. Now we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. We're gonna start getting our ingredients together so we're ready to start cooking. Now I already have butter melted in our pot, so the first thing we need to do is open up our can. When we open up our can, there's always juice, leftover juice in our asparagus. We're going to drain out that juice, but we're not throwing it out because we're gonna, we're gonna use some of that later. I'm gonna set this over here. So it's out of the way. And then I'm gonna take a fork and I'm just gonna start mashing up this asparagus. I'm smashing it up as small as, as small a piece as I can as I can. You can see here, it's just really like a green slime forming here. And I smash it up really good. Get that good smashed up, and then I we come back to our pot. Now you can see we have butter melted in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some flour in with this butter. And I'm not gonna add too much. And I'm gonna just start mixing this around to make a paste. Then I'm gonna add some of our milk. Notice I say I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna add some. I don't really know how much you put in. But what you are going to need is to have a, some type of paste in here. You just kind of keep working around. You add a little flour, you add a little milk. Add a little milk, you add a little flour. Add a little flour, you add a little butter. It all works out. And we keep working on this paste. You can see I have it kind of going there. Now, I'm gonna take some of my asparagus juice and I pour some in there. Uh, just so you know, I'm cooking on about a four as far as the temperature goes, it's not real high. That way we're not burning anything in our pot. Still working on this paste. Add a little more flour. 
There we go, good. It's almost like Play-Doh in its consistency. You see that in the, that, it almost looks like mashed potatoes even. Now, once I have this paste going, I'm gonna get my toaster oven going. I'm starting to toast my bread, getting it ready. And I'm gonna dump my asparagus in. It looks absolutely disgusting. And now all I'm doing is I'm mixing this asparagus with this paste. Looks very disgusting. We call it green slime for a reason. I can add a little bit more here of my asparagus juice. The more juice and milk you add, the water, more watery it is. The more flour you put in, the more of a solid paste it is. We'll come back in a minute here and we'll see how this is coming along and we'll get ready to put our bread. Back in just a moment. Welcome back to Cooking with Keith. Our asparagus paste is all ready to go and we're ready to put some green slime on toast as soon as our toast is done. Huh, it's done. So all we're gonna do is take our toast, put it on a plate, then we just put a dollop of green slime on it. Man, that looks good. You put about that much on, take fork, spread it around a little bit, Pieces about this size. Mmm. That's good. Mm. The flavor comes out. The toast brings out the asparagus. Um, you can taste a hint of the butter in there. And you know, like you, you can taste the asparagus juice as well. Well, everybody, thanks for tuning in today. And I'd like to once again thank our sponsor, Paul Schultz of Raymond James Financial. Have a great day and thanks for tuning in to Cooking with Keith.